Hey scrappers, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about hard drives. Here at the yard, we deal primarily with two different types, which is going to be your HDDs, your hard disk drives. Tom, what's, what's HDD stand for? And your SSDs, which are your solid state drives. Now there's a little bit of a difference in between the two, and it's primarily what the outer casing is going to be made of. So traditionally, your hard disk drives are gonna be found in your desktops, your towers, your video game systems, your servers, some of the older models of equipment as well, where we didn't quite have the smaller size that we do with the solid state drives now. Now, the older hard disk drives are usually gonna contain a little bit more gold, but the pricing is offset. You're gonna get about the same pricing for these as you would one of our more modern hard disk drives because they're a little more bulky. Now, the reason that there was more gold in these a couple years ago or several years ago at this point we didn't have the efficiency and technology that we do now. So everything was thicker, it was bulkier, things were slower. As we've improved our technology over the years, things have gotten more efficient, which means we don't need as much of the material to be able to do the same thing. So you're gonna find that your older hard disk drives are gonna be heavier, the disks are gonna be massive, but then you're gonna have a lot of steel and aluminum, everything mixed together. I mean, we brought some into the yard that were huge. And then you look at our disk drives today and they become smaller and smaller. I mean, we can even talk about the micro SD cards, but they've gotten down to such a small and compact point now where you're not gonna get as much weight out of the solid state drives, but they're still gonna perform the same capacity that the old disk drives did. Now, in terms of pricing goes, uh, it's paid per pound. So obviously your, your hard disk drives are going to weigh more, so you're gonna get more per pound out of them than you would out of a solid state drive. The other thing to note what the difference between the materials are. So. A hard disk drive is gonna be primarily your aluminum casing with your board here, but then you're also gonna have some stainless steel possibly running through it at times. You're gonna have steel on the bottom here. And one of the suggestions that I make, if you're looking to maximize your profit when you bring these to the yards, a couple things to keep in mind. General rule of thumb when you bring things to the yard in the scrap business, if you have the tools, if you have the time and you have the experience, it's almost always better to take things apart and bring them in separate than it is to just bring them in whole. This is a great case with the disk drives. So like I said before, you have a mix of materials here. You're gonna have your aluminum here. You're gonna have your hard, uh, your, your disk board here as well. If you bring it in, you're just gonna get a flat rate. But if you take the time to separate it, and for some of the newer model disk drives, it's not too hard. Simple screwdriver, some of your tools is gonna be able to take these boards right off. And you're gonna get more per pound if you have enough volume for the material separate than if you bring them in. Solid state drives as well. You're not gonna get much for the outer casing because it's usually plastic, but the board inside is still gonna be worth more than if you just bring it in by itself. Another thing to keep in mind with your disc drives, sometimes they're gonna be encased in steel. That's gonna lower the value. So if you do decide to bring these in, just remember that if it does have a steel casing on it, it's gonna be worth less. Take some time to pull off the steel and then bring it in. I know a lot of times some customers might be concerned about their data and their privacy. What happens when we bring it into the yard? Do I need to wipe the drive? Do I need to destroy the drive? That's always up to the customer, and I always recommend doing that just for your own safety. Sometimes we have customers come in, they'll drill holes through the boards or the drives, uh, they'll wipe the drives. But here at Rockaway Recycling, we are an R2 certified facility. And so what that means is that anything that comes in here, we guarantee that the material is not going to be resold and it's gonna be destroyed in a proper manner that aligns with our R2 certification. And if you have any questions on that, you can visit our website to find out a little bit more. There was a lot to cover in this video and I'm sure if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you wanna continue learning more about scrap, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe this video.